Ben Aramco has put out a full 18 minutes of uncut gameplay for One Piece Odyssey, which is about time. The game was playable during the Anime Expo, so I found it surprising that they were not just showing raw gameplay during their panel. Turns out it's because they were saving it for the end of Anime Expo, and I think this gameplay demo is definitely required because a lot of people are still on the fence about this. They're not sure how to feel about it. Personally, I'm one of those people, and maybe at the end of this gameplay demo I'll still be on the fence because the thing I'm looking forward to the most is the story. It's a One Piece game, stories are usually incredible. And I don't think we'll know how the story is based on a gameplay demo, but at least we'll know how the game plays. So, let's take a look at it. There we have it. And it looks like I am separated from my crew. What is that? A save point? King Kong Garden. <laughs> Wait, copyright issues? <laughs> Turns out he wasn't separated from his crew. His crew was just inside of him all along. I think they did a really good job with the environments, and I think the trailer's already shown that a little bit. Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Oh, there's the King Kong. Okay, Nami's in trouble. Maybe Luffy was separated from his crew. It's like getting them back together. This is the mission where uh, you get Nami back. Let's check out what you can do in these menus. I love when people do this in demos. Like, it really gives folks a chance to see what to expect from the final game. Uh, sometimes they put more than they intended to in the menus, so checking out the menus. That's a lot of stats, that's a lot of resistances. So yeah, sometimes anime games, uh, when they go the JRPG route, they kind of do sort of a lighter JRPG, but this seems to be going all out. Yes, Gum Gum Rocket, Luffy's unique ability to traverse around. Uh, there it is. Don't know who's playing, but it's their first time, so go easy in the comments. You guys can be very judgy. A lot of, like, uh, overview points? Yeah. No, there's something at the base of that tree. Two things, actually. It's either just, like, environmental storytelling, or it's giving you a hint. And, hey, once you get down there, you should investigate the stuff. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so it's just clues for storytelling. Interesting. So you actually didn't even need... To use the rocket there. Oh, you, but you need it if you want to go back. Right. <laughs> okay, shiny things. Pick up animation. Oh, you go punch the thing and then you pick up the stuff? This is slow. <laughs> oh, we have a battle scenario. Transition into battle. Okay, for this fight specifically, they have some voice lines. I don't think that's going to happen every time. Uh, again, the battle transition is something you want to be as snappy as possible, and uh, this wasn't bad. This wasn't bad at all. You can do skill, items, and there's tactics on triangle. You can't do skills. Okay. Just attack, attack, attack. Consume TP to use powerful skills. There you go. There's the toilet paper meter. Oh, and it shows on the left. Wait. Oh, on the left it shows that the enemy was going to attack. It doesn't show who it's going to attack, right? Can you see the order of turns ahead of time? Or do you just see who's going next? Congratulations, Luffy. Leveled up. Everyone. Yep. Level 41. That would suggest this is well into the game already. Whoa. Observation hacky. Don't know what that's for, but it looked it looked cool. Okay, so you can see which abilities are gonna hit multiple enemies, which abilities are just gonna hit one, which abilities affect yourself. Long range, close range. I'd love to see what's a close range attack and a long range attack. What's that mean for enemy placement in the battlefield? Like, how does that work? But as I was saying, this seems like an early mission where the straw hats are separated. You gotta find them one by one. This is the mission where you find Nami. But they're all level 41, so my best guess here is they boosted the hell out of your levels for the demo, but they put you in an early part of the game. Final game will probably work very differently. This is not when you will learn this stuff. Skills attack both single and multiple targets. Use the Gatling to hit all of them. Cool animation. Short and sweet. You don't want that to be too long. There's a sprint button, let's go! It's not guaranteed in JRPGs, guys. Okay, branching path. Where you go? Left or right? Okay, left is the main path, clearly. So you should go right to explore. Nice! Oh, I like her. Oh no, Sanji! Maybe this is one of those missions where you gotta do this thing. <laughs> These guys are also great. I love the monster design, it's so cool! It doesn't seem hostile. <laughs> oh no. What's up, please? Not the best cutscene I've seen, uh, but the high quality cutscenes are usually saved. Oh, 
Oh, he's paralyzed, so, like, he's out of it. So, like, as a story mission, uh, they say we'll do so, basically, for this. Oh, and he's far away. Okay, so, this is what a dramatic scene is. So you can't attack that target until you defeat this group. Boom. Oh no, Usopp's paralyzed and he's just kicking his ass! Bleed or faint or two... Uh... Or two status effects? So Luffy jumped in there. Those enemies were very far away and when you select Luffy to attack them, he jumps in there. Like he was in a completely different zone. And he couldn't move before Sanji defeated that guy. Oh, and you can sort of see that on the left. Like, Sanji is separated on the left HUD. Yeah, use a skill. No, no, there's a ton of skills! You selected Gatling again! No, okay. There's not only one. And Usopp is back. Yeah, cutscene-wise, I mean, that, that wasn't the best cutscene we've seen. But if that's the level of cutscene we're getting all the time... I mean, that's fine, except for, like, major moments. Major moments, I would expect something a little bit better. But, like, that level of animation, that level of cutscene as, like, a basis, because this is a JRPG and will probably be hours long, I think that's that's good. At least it's not just one character portrait talking to another and going, Ah! What was it? I got attacked by penguins! Ah! It's a little bit more than that, and I appreciate it. Yeah, so you can just climb. Or, I think you had a grappling point there, so with Luffy, you could have just done that. Yeah? Oh man, she noticed it. Oh, you broke the thing, but didn't pick- Yeah! Oh man, I like her! She's starting to ignore the... the little observation icons. Which, honestly, given what observation icons have done so far, I would probably start ignoring them too. There's another branching path, isn't there? It's King Kong time! It's all voice acted too. But this is a main mission, so I think I think this game has partial voice acting. Side quests and stuff might not have it. At least this does. It's a pincer attack. Now, how does this work in the combat uh, scene? Yeah, okay, so Robin is separated. Oh, everyone is separated. There are different groups. Look at the left side of the screen. You see Robin is up against one enemy. Then you see Usopp and Sanji against another enemy. I mean, Robin is up against two enemies. So, ideally, Sanji defeats this guy in one hit. And then you send uh, Usopp over to Robin, maybe? To help her out? Because Luffy is probably fine with a, a multi-hitting ability. I don't know what Robin has. Maybe she's fine too. But, yeah, maybe that's what you would do in a... Harder encounter. Yeah, just get rid of both of them. You got the Gatling or maybe something else or just attack, I guess Especially if like the enemies that are attacking you have uh, an advantage uh, towards your type Then yeah, you got to take care of business fast uh, with the other characters so you can move on and help All right, Robin attacks one hit kill. Why was that one blue? It was a shiny should have caught it. Oh, and Usopp attacked Luffy's directly because he uh, has a ranged attack. So there you go. That's how that works. Some attacks are melee, some attacks are ranged. Sometimes you need to be in the same area as the enemies. But if it's a ranged attack, you can just support them from far away. That's interesting. I like the layers of strategy that we have. He's already level 50? They got four levels in one go? Okay, XP definitely not final in this build. Del Kong. Oh. That was a cut. That's a Zoro. Yeah. Yay. Oh, just Brook left. Uh, monkey boss fight? I'd be disappointed if we walked all this way for the King Kong, for Del Kong, right to die in a cutscene. can see the boss fight when you play it, or if you hear an anime expert, <gasps> you fight him yourself. What? No. She's not gonna show it? No! You can see the boss fight if you're at Anime Expo. Just show the boss fight! Finally, we got some uncut gameplay, and now we have a better idea of what this game looks like. The battle system? There's some interesting stuff there. I really like the different, almost, battle arenas that can happen within the same battle. Don't really remember another game that did something like this, but, uh, I'm, I'm interested. But anyway, that's One Piece Odyssey gameplay at last. Uh, you guys know my opinion, I would love to know what you guys thought of it as well in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching, my name's Glauku, and I'll see you next time. Boy!